Hey guys, what's going on, sir? This video is sort of a part two to the last video, how to use touch ID slash face ID within your apps. So make sure to watch that video before you watch this one, as this one is just adding on to that. But in this video, I wanted to talk about um, this. Uh, this code doesn't really work on devices such as the iPad Air, which uh, does not have touch ID or face ID. It'll just blank out and uh, nothing happens. And second of all, if you have a, um, if you use biometrics and they scan it wrong, it should ask for a password. Unfortunately, that password wasn't working for me. But in this video, I have both of those fixes. So to start, and the fixes are very easy. You simply have to delete with biometrics and with biometrics. Now this will still use um, Touch ID and Face ID on devices that support it. That'll be the first priority, but on devices such as the iPad Air, it'll just ask for a password. But on devices such as an iPhone 10, it'll ask for Face ID. So if we go ahead and run this, so if we click on this, see it'll say passcode. Unfortunately, there is no passcode set as this is a simulator, but you can enter whatever you want. And there you go. So that's how that works. But now let's say, let's open up an iPhone XR. Now this device does use authentication. And make sure to toggle Face ID, so make sure that is enabled by going to Face ID or Touch ID and make sure that's enrolled. For example, so if we click, it'll ask for the request to access and we can go ahead and authenticate. Now, for example, if we make sure it's not enrolled, it'll ask for a password. So, I've entered a password. Again, we'll do it one more time. So, Face ID is enrolled. So, let's just run that. And let's just run non-matching face. So, there you go. Now, on devices with Touch ID, it'll ask for a password. But that was the fix to this video. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, do subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.